silent death theme. Oh, yeah. Yeah, th th those are really dark and gritty, but believable. Yeah. I'd say our artists really love the dark and yeah. gritty stuff. I don't, I don't know if we've done as much of it. I think we want to do a lot more of it in the future. Welcome to Forge and Turnum, the show where we talk about all things New World. Today, we thought it'd be great to talk about outfits and skins and some of the process behind that. So I'm joined today by Sojin and Gabby. So we're going to talk about skins. So maybe to kick it off, I think it'd be great to talk about maybe just some of the process, like what, what are the steps we go through when we're designing skins, like who looks at them, what kind of stuff do we talk about? When we are designing skins, we want it to be something unique and interesting. So play, when players can be really proud of, um, and we also understand how important it is for players to customize their own characters. I was so going to say, we, we have like a lot of different kinds of players, yeah. right? Like yeah. different things always resonate with different mm -hmm. people. Yeah. I think that's always interesting when we're coming up with ideas because we're thinking about like, okay, there's this group of people and they're really into this stuff. But there's this other group of people and they hate that stuff. Mm -hmm. And they're really into this stuff. And like, so we have to come up with a lot of different ideas. So mm -hmm. we're always trying like new and kind of unique stuff with the skin designs or with the outfit designs, yeah. trying to come up with something special, trying to push the envelope. I think that's like our, our art aesthetic in mm -hmm. general is we're always trying to like figure out what's the new push, trying try to do, push the envelope mm -hmm. and like get, sometimes we get into interesting spaces that way. Yeah, um, and not just pushing the envelope on, on these signs, but also on our like um, limitations and how we can improve and evolve our systems to keep growing and make new ideas out mm -hmm. of the current ones that we have or like new ideas completely with different, um, I don't know, ways of owning something or having a weapon or having a, a skin in like an armor. And yeah. Stuff like that. It's funny, I'm seeing the game a lot. People mix and match gear a lot too. Or we oh, design, yeah, yeah. we usually design things as sets. So we're like, okay, this is a full outfit. Mm -hmm. Top to bottom, it's boots, gloves, helmet, Definitely. chest piece. It all kind of goes together. But then we see a lot of players that are like, oh, I like that helmet, mm -hmm. but I like these pants and I like this chest piece. And there's a lot that, that forces us to think about a lot too. Like, exactly. how do these sets go together? We have all these metrics about like, where the pieces mm. fit, like how does the helmet fit to the neck? Okay, well, what if you put a different helmet there? Oh, no, it clips, and like, okay, exactly. let's make sure that it doesn't clip. Yeah, those but, are the type of limitations that we need to always take mm -hmm. in, into account when we create designs and um, different type of It's of armors. funny, because um, when we are communicating with concept artists, we always encourage to shoot for the stars, <laughs> but <laughs> yes. of course, yeah, it, like, it can cause <laughs> Yeah. Some issues Definitely. that we always, sometimes we have to dial back. But um, luckily we have really talented um, tech art and in engineering team. They are always working to improve our mm -hmm. tools and such. Yes, as like as a, as a mantra, that's always we would push like, let's just shoot for like, let's make something really cool and interesting. And then we get into the nitty gritty of like, okay, mm -hmm. how do we make this actually yeah. work? Yeah. Well, there's like, oh, this is like too many texture sets. And like, oh my goodness, now we have to figure out how to like balance that mm -hmm. all. And like, oh, now there's the scene with like a hundred players all at once and it all adds up. And like, <laughs> okay, how do we make sure that the game is still performant? And so there's all these things we're thinking about, but I don't, yeah. I think our goal is that like, that's all kind of under the hood. We're, we're peeling back the curtain a little bit here. But to players, they should never even have to think about that. They're, yeah. they're focused on like, how do I look cool? Mm -hmm. What's an outfit? How do I express myself? I, I was going to say, for me, this time period the game is set is always really interesting because we're pulling reference from real world cultures all over the world. We want Eternum is this like island where all these cultures all come together and clash and, and then they they sort of evolve and have different looks and there's like supernatural stuff. So like, yeah. I think an example really early on that I really liked was how we designed the Roman outfits that came in mm -hmm. Brimstone Sands. And we hinted at this even way before Brimstone Sands came out. But like, what do Romans look like? Because they, they came to Eternum, yeah. they encountered, you know, these various supernatural things. And like, how did their gear evolve? What did it mm -hmm. look like over time? Yep. Did they have to like do stuff to like, oh, I got to reinforce because there's like a horrible monster that's attacking mm -hmm. me. So my, my plate isn't really going to like defend against that. Yeah. That was the point where it, it's still based on historical elements, mm -hmm. but reimagining mm -hmm. um, what, what's going to happen to in a tournament. Yeah. I think that was the pivotal point. point. Yeah. Reimagining the current designs or like the current cultures that we have, but making them work into a tournament and like 
work in the world, yeah. in the designs, and in, in the type of like um, culture that actually Aeternum is. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that's something I bring up a lot with the art team as a whole. They're like, oh, that's a cool design. What, what makes it new world design? Exactly. How, how do we make sure that it feels like it's ours, that it like fits in the game, yeah. that people understand it, it's not gonna feel out of place? And I think we experiment a lot with like, what does that mean? And mm -hmm. we're always evolving that, trying to grow it. <laughs> Maybe we can talk about what is even the um, new world look. Yeah, what's our signature? Mm -hmm. I think there's, there's a bunch of aspects to it. I almost wanna hear both of your take, but I know for me, we always think about like, what's the story? What's the narrative? The Turnum mm -hmm. is this like mythical island. Mm -hmm. it's, it's all these different cultures coming together. It's supernatural stuff. There's the lost and the angry earth and corruption. Mm -hmm. So there's all these like primordial forces that are all sort of butting up head, head to head against each other. Um, and I, that obviously like factors into the outfits. Mm -hmm. You know, do outfits fit into each of these different themes? Are they part of the lost or is it something else entirely? So I think we're always trying to tell a story with the outfits, but then even a layer deeper than that, there's like trying to put the Eternum twist. We call mm -hmm. it like made in Eternum. What's an outfit that's made in Eternum? How did it evolve? It's, um, it's kind of like it also putting into the age of exploration. Like we can't, like, yeah, we have magic and stuff like that, but also many of the outfits and armor, well, weapons as well, they are made by hand, they are mm -hmm. made by people actually in the world of Eternum, and it's just not like it popped in there all mm -hmm. of a sudden. Uh, so everything needs to be also grounded and mm -hmm. um, into the time era. Yeah, I think the key is grounded, but with some magical touch. Yeah. yeah. There's like, we really, we put a ton of effort into like trying to make everything look handcrafted. Because mm -hmm. we want to, players, because there's a lot of, crafting's a huge component of the game, right? So we want players, especially when they're crafting gear, to feel like, oh, I like, made that thing and it looks like I made it and it, yeah. it has that evidence of craftsmanship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then there's the supernatural aspect mm -hmm. of like, okay, now if I had this magical gem and it gave mm -hmm. me superpowers, like how would that affect my outfit? I'd probably feature that in some way. And so then that goes into the gear too. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think there's, there's all these like layers of thought process when we're picking themes mm -hmm. and outfits. Like what's gonna resonate and what, you know, what, what makes sense in the world, what sells the story. Yeah. It kind of all fits together. Makes them look realistic as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I think it's really good, to, important to be um, keep in mind diversity, and mm -hmm. we are also trying to introduce a lot of different culture. Mm -hmm. But there's always cha challenges because um, we want to be respectful. We want to represent the culture the correct way. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of um, research going into it. Yeah. What kind of research stuff are we doing when we're making some of these um, sets or looking at even outside of outfits, just yeah. we're digging into some of these cultures? Um, we look at a lot of books and, of course, Google. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, it just talked to a lot of different people from different culture. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of um, people who's working in the company who's from um, different parts of the world. Mm -hmm. So we are engaging, a, a proactively engaging a conversation with, to really dig into that culture and uh, mm -hmm. get more information. Yeah. Yeah, we normally also have like uh, this meeting with a couple of people in the team that will let us know if like we're mm -hmm. doing something that may not be the best right now or mm -hmm. the best at all. And then we can move on from there and try to look for other paths. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's more we're trying to like, you know, we only know so much about the world, individual people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're always trying to like, let's find experts. Let's make sure that exactly. our, our assumptions are correct. Or we're like making sure that we're representing this correctly. Yeah. And I think sometimes they point out stuff that we're like, oh, I didn't even think of that. Like, yeah, oh, definitely. that's cool. And I think we get ideas from that too. We're like, hey, have you looked at this? This is how they actually do this in this culture. And we're like, mm -hmm. oh, that's really cool. Let's make sure that we like bring that into our world because we want to make sure that culture is, mm -hmm. is really represented correctly. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think any favorite outfits or like designs you guys really liked as, as we went along, oh. stuff that stands out to you? Well, there's a lot, but um, I, Tend towards the gear, yeah, um, favored more greedy and dark mm -hmm. outfits, mm -hmm. but actually there's a lot um, in new content coming up. 
Oh, I, we can talk Ooh. about that. <laughs> um, I but I, if I have to pick one from previous release, um, I think the Silent Death theme. Oh, yeah. That was a good the, one. Especially the light one and light set and medium set. The assassin. Those are, yeah, yeah, yeah that, that one. Um, those are really dark and gritty, but believable. Yeah. I'd say our artists really love the dark and yeah. gritty stuff. I don't, I don't know if we've done as much of it. I think we want to do a lot more of it in the future. Yeah, we're experiencing uh, a lot of that uh, welcomeness of those type of themes. So we're trying to move forward into yeah. making more of those. Any favorite theme you, you saw come through? There is one, which I know the internal name of it, <laughs> but it's not the external name of it. Um, it's the... Uh, describe it. Paint a picture with your words. Yeah. <laughs> it's called Invasion Invasion is Skirmisher, but okay. I think yeah, outside in the one. game it's called Champion Defender. Oh, and oh, yeah, um, right. it's the one that they use for a lot of promos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The one with the spikes in the shoulders mm -hmm. and the spikes in cool the set. in the helmet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like I like that one. Mm -hmm. I think it's it has very like dark colors, but it's I don't know, the materials are pretty cool. Yeah. Something you said I want to touch on, like I think we're always looking at you know, what saints resonate with people, what mm -hmm. things they react to. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of like, there's skins that drop as rewards and there's skins that drop, you know, through MTX and some of this other action. And there's like just gear that you get in the game. I think we're always trying to like find a nice balance to mm -hmm. like all, both of those, those categories are really important to us. Yeah. But I think we're always looking at their feedback, trying to see like what kind of sets sort of gravitate towards people. And mm -hmm. coming up with new and interesting sets is like, that's the new thing I want to chase. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, end game MMOs. It's fashion. This, this is what all about. It's fashion, right? <laughs> Cosmetics. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, the armor, uh, armor set creation it doesn't always process, doesn't always end up the same way. But we, sometimes we face challenges and sometimes we mm -hmm. make mistakes. But what's most important thing is we always learn from the mistakes and mm -hmm. try something new. Yeah, and I that's, think that's, that's the, the whole game as yeah. a whole. I think we're always looking at like, how do we grow? What's the next cool thing we can add? What are players asking for? What are they looking for? Mm -hmm. So I think that's important. It's, uh, but it's important, like you said, not just for um, the, the store, but also for like the drops. We just try to see it as a whole. And not necessarily like, oh, the coolest things for here or the coolest things for there. It's just like everything as a whole. And we try to go and learn through the process of what mm -hmm. the players like. And then we move from we, we move mm -hmm. towards there on both sides, drops and stores as well. Do you guys have any thoughts on cosplayers? Like like people taking your art and uh, uh, you know, making it real? Like, have you seen any cosplayers um, that you really like? Few. Yeah, we, I, I've seen a few of cosplayers. Uh, there's actually one person in the team that did a uh, cosplay mm -hmm. of a very cool outfit, and I'm, I'm very excited when I see those. Yeah, when I see it's those, it's always exciting. Yeah, when... like whoa! <laughs> how did you put that up? You know, I'm not a cosplayer. It's something so. you uh, your concept come to life in in the game, but and if then, you see it in real life, it's yeah. amazing. <laughs> it's yeah. very exciting. It's always very fun. Yeah, I think we even some of the outfits. I know some of our signature characters. We were in thinking mm -hmm. about like. We had the design and we're like, this is going to be a little complicated if someone tries to make this as an outfit. Yeah. Maybe we should make this a little a little clearer. Yeah. Because it, it was, seemed like we wanted people to do that. Like we want to encourage the community to get involved. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so how about we talk about dice? Yeah, yeah. I think that's an interesting part of outfits as a whole. Because players get these dyes in the game, they can apply them to their gear. Mm -hmm. I've seen some crazy colors in the game, <laughs> but in a good way, in a good way. I think it's it's just like another layer of player expression. Mm -hmm. And like right along with that, Transmog is our upcoming feature, mm -hmm. you know, soon to be coming to the game. I think I'm super excited for that because there's so many outfits that players have, especially in early levels, that they just sort of like, they wear it for an hour, a couple hours, mm -hmm. and then they get another piece of gear mm -hmm. and that gear's gone. But there's a ton of really cool looks in that early stuff that now I think we can see players can express themselves even more. They can swap out what their visual is and not worry about what the stats are mm -hmm. so much. Yeah. I know that there's a lot of um, skins in the store too that we have that are not currently dyeable. And I know there's a lot of desire for this. So that's something we're looking at for transmog is can we get all the skins to be diable mm -hmm. so that it's a sort of full expression across all the set, which I'm pretty excited for. 
Yeah, we'll see. Definitely. I remember <laughs> seeing a player with the Boyd Bent armor some time ago uh-huh. and everything pink. Oh, and I'm yeah. like, that works. That kind of works. It looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, definitely looking forward into how we, we are uh, experimenting about the dice and the transmog for the yeah. things in the store. I think, I think it'll, players will be excited for yeah. that. So that brings us to our community question of the week. And what we want to know is, are there any themes or outfit ideas that you have that you'd love to see in the game? What kind of outfits do you want to wear? What kind of outfits do you like to wear on your player? Um, let us know in the comments below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of content. Um, and with that, we'll see you in a tournament. <laughs> <laughs>